Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a dose of gas today. We're doing genuinely approachable Sudoku. That's what gas stands for, from the daily Sudoku puzzle channel on the Discord server by Clover, Bill Murphy and Philip Newman, the three gas giants who are doing a sequence of puzzles and I finally worked out two, two gas videos ago that there was probably a real life sequence that they were copying and last gas video what that sequence was which enables me to predict that today we will have a classic sudoku a german whispers a killer arrow an anti-king and a sandwich sudoku but you know once you've done one of those you don't really deserve any credit after the others that's my view right uh, but those will be the types of puzzle i will go through the rules and the blurbs as written on discord in a little bit more detail in a moment i do want to mention that on Patreon, already we have some intriguing stuff this month. We have Simon's um, Solve of X by Kirk Hugo Schneider. A very interesting, um, I mean a really interesting 6x6 six six Sudoku. Then, uh, we'll come back to 6x6 six six Sudoku in a moment, but we have me solving a Matt Gaffney meta puzzle which is an American crossword with a brilliant finish. Um, and that's on Patreon as well. And in a few days time, well, just over 10, uh, on the 1st of October, let's, let's be precise. On the 1st of October at 4 p.m. our time, we'll be uploading Skunkworks um, six by six puzzle pack themed on Halloween trick or treat. We're, we're looking forward to that. There's no question, it'll be a treat but there may be some tricks. Um, and that's coming up on the first. So do join us on Patreon, it's great fun. Uh, as is the Discord server, as are our apps, which are all on the links under the video. And there are many links under the video to things like the catalog of our puzzles, our merchandise, Sven Sudoku pad, but also two links to each of these puzzles, which you can play in F puzzles or um, as long as you can use tiny URL in our software, which I'll be doing. And I am now going to read the blurbs from the puzzles, which came from about a month ago on the Daily Sudoku channel, as mentioned. And I just have to go back up to the top here and start reading. Right, so Clover says, a surprisingly large number of you predicted yesterday that I'd completely lose my mind today and post a classic Sudoku. Bonus hats all round for a bunch of named people who I deserve to join finally. Uh, don't wear them all in one place. In today's classic Sudoku, normal Sudoku rules apply and that's it. That gives me a chance to tell you what normal Sudoku rules are. One to nine going in every row, every column and every three by three box. And that will apply in all of the puzzles, but it's the only rule that applies in this puzzle. And then we will go on to Uzu, oh, hang on, the dinosaur. If you solve the puzzle quickly, and it's time that you can look up in the description field, you get one party hat. If you solve it really quickly, you get two party hats. And if you do solve it, but not in those times, you get a dinosaur, which Clover has designated this time as a, a rare Richardo Estesia. And Bill's puzzle, Uzumaki. Bill, obviously a Japanese food fan. I totally forgot that I had to post gas tonight, to be honest, I'm out of trivia again. For those playing along at home, I've won about seven of these nights. It's a nice way to never pay for a night out. Well, good for you, Bill. Today's game, and Bill has appeared on a number of game shows. He's clearly a smart guy with a lot of general knowledge. Um, that is undoubted. Today's gas is a German whispers. I hope there's bonus hats all round for, and then all the named people who have figured the thing. And he also says, don't wear them all in one place. Has he copied the list from Clover or is that the new? Oh, hang on. I've never copied anything in my life. How dare you imply anything else, it says. Sorry, Bill. In today's German whispers, normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along green lines must differ by at least five. Now, that means adjacent digits along the lines. So those two could be one and six or eight and two, but they couldn't be two and six. Um, the dinosaur... <laughs> It's a very rare Richard Aristesia. You've never copied anything in your life, Bill. I know, I believe you. Oh, very good. Um, we will go on then to Philip's puzzle, Split an Arrow in Twain. 
Now, Philip says, congrats to everyone who guessed, I approve of those inverted commas, today's gas would be a killer arrow Sudoku. Anybody who got that was not guessing. Am I out of Monty, Monty Python references? Probably not. But for some reason, this scene from Robin Hood Men in Tights came to mind and is given a link um, which probably won't be on the description field. But you can go to the Discord server if you want to see that clip. Um, and normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits in cages can't repeat and sum to the total given. Digits long arrows sum to the circled total. And the dinosaur is a temper titanis in tights. Why not? And the next puzzle is Anti-King by Clover. Viva la Revolution! The following solvers are preparing the guillotines with a successful prediction of Anti-King Sudoku. And they're all named again. It seems to be the same panel. In today's gas, says Clover, normal Sudoku rules apply. Also, identical digits must never touch diagonally. So that can't be a four because of that. Neither of these can be a seven. That's how anti-king works. The dinosaur is a rabble-rousing rugops, which I think means red-eye. Um, and then we will go on to Swoon by Bill Murphy. Um, and Bill says, OK, so when we decided the theme for redacted August, I reckon that says repeated August or something, I saw what my draw was and groaned audibly, the draw of German Whispers, Fortress, Two-digit arrows, and finally, this sequence is coming to an end, today's sandwich Sudoku was a very tough gauntlet of things to make gas. I got through it, and he's handing out the bonus hats. <laughs> and then says, I've never copied anything in my life. How dare you imply anything else? Mm. In today's sandwich Sudoku, normal Sudoku rules apply. Clues outside the grid gives the sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. And the die... The dinosaur is extremely rare, Richard Oestesia. Well done, the Richard Oestesia, for making three appearances in today's gas video. I have enjoyed your interruptions entirely. Um, so those were the blurbs. We'll go back to the first puzzle. I'm going to reset my clock each time. I'm going to measure myself against these. I don't know what the times are when I begin, but I find out at the end whether I have... Ah, I would find out at the end, except I just removed that file because I am a numpty man. Um, hang on a second while I just get the file back and so that I can tell my times at the end. What a dumb cop. Um, right, here is the file. Okay, hopefully you can't see all of this going on in the background, which just has no bearing on what we're doing. So... Yeah, there we go. So I've got the file back. I will know the times. Um, and, 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 and I'm going to start the puzzles. Sorry about the delay. Right, let us get cracking. So this top corner, that is a naked single. Nine, um, eight, and a one, two pair. I bet that's a naked single thanks to the symmetry of the gas geniuses um then a two three pair two three four now that is a naked single maybe all the corners are designed to be naked singles no that one isn't seven that one is though six and eight to come and in the top row one two three four no that's not so obvious let's flick around putting a four in one of those cells four in one of those two that is another naked single seven there that's three. Oh, that has to be nine for the row. Then we've got a one, two, three. That's where seven goes. That's a six with a four, eight pair next to it. Right, we're going to go down here because I'm obviously not going to sort out the two, three in this box just from ab initio. Now, let's see what else we've got. We've got a three in one of those. That must be three. One, two, four. That is two. No, that is a four because it sees a two pair at the bottom. That's a one or a two, which gives me a pair in this column, which makes that a naked seven. Very strange. Three, four, five, seven, one. That is a six, eight pair on the right, a two, nine pair on the left. That makes this a one. Okay, that's good. Now we've got three, four, five here and a two, nine pair here, which are resolved again 
using the two three pair at the bottom we've got four five nine here now two three seven three that's become the two out of the two options seven three two nine four five six eight that is four or five there must be a six there that's two or three we can place six in the bottom row that makes this five with a six above it that's a naked three finishes the box suddenly that has sorted out the three two which I was a bit nervous about. Nine, three, four, they can just go in. So then, then I can do four, five, nine. This is five, seven, and eight. Uh, one, seven, three, two, nine. That is a naked eight. Go down and get the four, go up and make that a five. We've got a six in the middle of the column. Three, six, eight, four. We need a two in this box. We need Hmm, 5719 looked like a chocolate tree pot quadruple to me. So let's do this row. Yes, 7 and 1. 7 didn't resolve the rest of it. 6, 7, 8 here. I am not sure. But if I can't do these, I'm missing what I can do here. 3 and 4. Yes, I am. That had to be it because it was the last thing left with any variability. Right, now. That's fixed 9, 2. This is a 1, 7 pair. That's going to sort out the triple over here, the pair above them. And we could probably do 8, 5, put in a 5, and the well, last digit's a 9. And there we are, 3 minutes, 25 seconds. And in my recovered file, that is going to tell me, I'm going to have to just page down to the times. Uh, 5 minutes was the 2 hat time, so that's pretty quick. I'm not as clear of it as I would normally be on a classic, so that must be quite a straightforward, even for a classic. Thank you, Clover. Good stuff. We'll move on to Uzumaki with German whispers. We've learnt that Bill didn't enjoy having to do any of his particular chosen puzzles. Four and nine. Um, so these are high. I'm going to bother to colour them. That is three or four now. That has to be a three, so it can be surrounded by eight, nine in the column. This is eight or nine as well. Okay, what if we get? I bet there's symmetry going on. That is going to be a seven surrounded by one, two. There is a sort of form of symmetry there, yes. This is high and is not nine or seven. It's got two neighbors in box four, so it's an eight. And they are, in fact, one and three. That could be any low digit. Okay, what about this? This is high and not six or eight. It can't be seven because neither of its neighbors in box six could be a one. So that's a nine and they must be from two, three, four. That one can't be three. So we've got two, four pair in the column as well. And that's kind of marked up. Oh, in fact, that can't be three. That's marked up all of those German whispers. The rest is kind of classic. So let's put a six there. Two, seven, nine, six. We've got a four in one of those and a three in one of these. Don't know. Oh, that's a four. Hidden four in row three. That's an eight. Okay, that might sort out some big digits in the orange cells. Also going to put an eight there. Nine, I don't know in this box. Nine four six one eight three two. That is five or seven. Eight, one two four nine three. Five six and seven to go in column eight. Um, nine one two three. That's an eight to make up the eights. That's a two. So this is a three five seven triple across the middle. That is going to sort out one of the pairs that we've got. One. Three, two, one, one, two. Lovely, that whole whisper has come apart now. Very useful. Three, four, five, still to place in the column. In fact, that can't be three. That is a seven flanked by a one, two, despite there being no German whisper line. Places seven in that box. Five, six, four, two, seven, one. That's a three, surrounded by eight, nine. Again, it feels like a whisper sequence just because we've been doing so many of them that's where six goes in column two 
Everything else, wow, three, four, or five. Interesting. I mean, the uniqueness tells me that's not a four or a five, but since until something else tells me that, I'm not putting that in. Uh, just doing some Sudoku now instead. Four, eight, six, nine, one, two. That's a three. And there's a five, seven pair. If that was three in the corner, proving its position and therefore having a little celebration with confetti. And if I could get into the right cells, this is flying along now. That's a six. 49, 8, 6. We've got a 1 here in the column. Oh, 3, 5, 7. Okay, let's switch to the row. 5, 7 pairs all around. That 5, 7 pair gives us 9 and 1. That fixes 2, 2 and 1. That makes this a 4. That makes this a 2. This this has gone this has gone completely wrong why have i see this is rubbish oh when did that start becoming rubbish ages ago oh bother 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 bill this is not your fault this is all my fault when did i put that nine in oh ages ago what a shame Oh man, oh man, oh man. I got the sequencing wrong down here. Despite putting orange into these cells, look how long ago that was. Ugh. Okay, this is low. It's got to be two. These are high. They, oh, I'm so angry. Oh, bother. Ah. Oh. Gosh, I mean, loads of the work I did was probably fine, but some of it wasn't. And you just can't, you can't carry on when you've made deductions based on wrong things, as we have found before, unless you know that they've kind of been cauterized and confined. Well, that explains why that central row wasn't symmetrical in what it, what it dealt with. This has been terrible. What a mess. I'm never going to get the two hat time here. Four, five, six. I'm going to go as fast as I can just in case, but I don't deserve it. And I deserve a sound punishment, frankly. That's a six with a five, four pair below. Four, nine, one, seven, three, eight. That is five or six. So we've got a two. I mean, this could. I literally think this could be totally different numbers everywhere just from that one error. I oh, see, it's interesting. I do remember some of this path. That's weird as well. Oh, that has to be a two. There's given digits on the smalls up the top that I just never used. Wow, if I've had you shouting at the screen in this, especially about the error, I do apologize. But, you know, some people will see it as my comeuppance for trying to go too fast. I see it as just a bit of bad luck as I do that. Um, and I would say that there's three in the corner again doing its thing we get a three down there as well this five four pair has been resolved five and eight over here at least it is coming fairly quickly this time four i mean it might be because it was actually an easier solve than i was finding it with the error in which case i won't get the two hats even if i recover quite well um one there four and nine down here the one and two are done i mean it, it is finishing fast now but is it fast enough? Wow, I doubt it and I don't deserve it, but we will see. We get a five and a one, there we go. Ooh, six minutes 49, that's often over the two hat time. The two hat time for this puzzle was seven and a half minutes. So even with the error and the almost complete unwind, I got in just in time. Wow, I mean, I literally am nearly sweating from that which is probably a lesson for me, not just not to make an error. I mean, that's always the lesson. But that if I really put pressure on myself, I can go very fast. But it's hard to tell how much it helped that I had done some of that puzzle path before. I don't really know how that works. Let's go again. So there's a one, two, four here. It's got to be four in the circle. One, two there, one, three here. Um, that was a useful thing to spot. This is a three. Look, same deal over here. Two, one. 
Now, there's not a lot more giveaways there. That, oh, I see, this divides into four and four. Oh, the cages divide up, ah, oh, into one half as the circle, I see. That's two or six, so that's five or one. This is a nine. Don't know there. This is a four with a one three pair. This is an eight with what is now a two six pair. This is a seven with not four three. One three two six. So in fact, that has to be a five in the corner. There's amongst the digits that are lower than seven. It's the only one available. This is a one seven pair. That's going to fix my two one pair. Fixes my other two one pair. It also fixes that two one pair. This has been fixed, this one three and one three. Good thing I'm saying it out loud. Two and six, can't do the four five at the top. But that was good. That in fact is three in the corner, losing its religion. We've got seven one there. Now this is not four five or one eight. So it's either two seven or three six. What, oh, the 16 cage, ah. That is a seven, because again, this had to be half the size. No, 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 poor logic. That doesn't have to be half the size of the cage because the arrow is not pointing that way. I mean, that might turn out to be right, but that would just be luck. Um, that's not a two. So there's a two somewhere in those cells. One, three, four, six and nine to go in the final column. Nine and four to go in the bottom row. Okay, let's think about this 16 again. These two add up to 15, and they're not eight, seven. They are nine, six. So that is now eight or five. That much I can do. Well, that can't be a nine in that box, can it? Okay, well, at least that proves what I did before was wrong. Two and seven are now certain. That fixes this cage at the top, six and one. This, yeah, fixes the top row, eight and two. This first column has another three in the corner. Five and eight in those cells. I can't see how they're resolved. Three, four, eight here. Oh, I've still got this 10 cage. That's gonna have to be a three, five pair now, and we can't put three in the circle. So there we go. Three here. Four eight pair now four three one oh I've written the wrong numbers here I was trying to type a four nine pair along the bottom row four six nine yes okay four nine six there we go one seven that's a two five pair that can be written in this is an eight three pair six seven and nine oh eight is looking at that cell. Six one eight seven two. So three four are a pair that side. Nine five the other side. That's going to give me a six and a nine in the end of the grid. That does feed into these other corners. Okay, things are going well now. So six one here. Let's finish row seven with two seven. Row eight five seven nine. I can put the nine in, but not the others. That is an I wing five. That's fixed four and five there. That four re resolves all the remaining pencil marks apart from the five, seven, which are resolved from the top of the grid now. Uh, that gives me the way to do four, six, seven. That gives me the way to do eight, seven, six. And now I've just got a nine and I've got two fives in this row. Which one should be something else? This one should be a four that's been mistyped. And that's the solution. Whew. 4 minutes 38, that's going to get the two hats. The time officially was seven and a half minutes. So that went very well for a Philip puzzle. That's not bad. But it kind of took me a little while, but then I saw the trick with these circles in the, in the cages. Okay, let's go again with Clover Anti-King. Clover hasn't had many rules to work with this week for all 
for all Bill's unhappiness. So antique king, how do we use that best? That's a one, two pair, that's just Sudoku. Then there's a nine and a three, four pair. That's a naked six, seven and eight. I can use the antique king to sort those out. One, two, seven, four, eight. One of these is a six. One of these is a five. Oh, that's got to be a four. That's got to be a three. So I can do five and nine. I mean, I've used anti-king. Oh, another three in the corner. I've used anti-king once. I'm using it again for that six, nine pair. So it's been useful in this box, if not really anywhere else yet. Well, that's fine. I mean, I don't need to use it a lot, just where it matters. That's an eight. There's a one, two pair. Again, anti-king. Maybe anti-kings can resolve all of these kind of three bits in the middle. That's a 7-8 pair by Sudoku. That's a 1, 9, 2. Oh, 3 and 4 are done by the digit now. 5 and 6, yes, by Anti-King again. So there is a real pattern to this. That has to be 4, thanks to the Anti-King. Um, oh, we kind of run out of steam there. This is 5, 6 and 7. 1, 8, 4. Uh, three goes here. Then we can do nine and two, five and six at the top, seven and nine at the top of column seven. Right, we kind of ran out of stuff then. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so eight and nine, well, nine has to be in one of those two, eight in one of those three. Three and four. Four, I don't know, maybe it's these cells. Six, eight, three, nine, one, seven, five. Nine, seven, four, two, six, one, three, five. That's naked using the full anti-king. Goodness me, that's a hard thing to get to. What about this? Nine, eight, seven, yes, also, only one possible digit. Fascinating that that can work. It's very clever. That's a one in the row, that's a three. Gosh, what about this one now? Six, eight, three, nine, two, seven, one, five. Yes, that's become naked. And that is going to fix, I would hope, all of the central box. Two, five, four, three, seven, nine here. I can place the seven. Again, the anti-king to the rescue. And that's a three, three, nine, one, eight, seven, two. One of these is a four. I don't know which one. Uh, right, five, nine, six, three, four, one, two, eight, seven. So that's one or eight. That's two or seven. That's that is a naked seven. Wow. I mean, it wasn't that hard. I made it a little harder than it needed to be. Four, nine, one, two boxes to go. Nine there. This column needs that to be a six. Then we get an eight. Then we go out and put a six and a five in, and it must be a five. And a four to fill in. Oh, it didn't like it. Okay, I now need to find what is hopefully a single error. All the rows are possible. That's worrying. Six, eight, five, seven, four, nine, five, four, one, two, three, eight, six, seven, nine. Wow, what have I got wrong here? Okay, all the columns are okay. So have I made an anti-king error? Uh, let's just check the boxes first of all. They're also all right. I didn't feel I was making a presumption. Oh look, I've got two nines here. Wow, how am I gonna fix that? I don't have a Scooby. Let's see when that happened. Here, so I whacked in 469. Which was, oh, well maybe that's, I mean that would be wonderful if that was the only error. I would be very lucky if I get away with this now. No, I don't deserve that. Um, I've got two ones. Nine, eight, six. 
Oh man, it's just die. Oh, I'm going to have to go right back to wherever I made the first mistake. Is there any chance I was good up to this point? I mean, there probably isn't. And if you can see some king thing that's just wrong already, scream it at me. But uh, it's not really going to help, is it? That's a four, five, nine. I mean, this just isn't going to work, but six, eight. I feel I have to try this. Nine, one, two, and eight, and then one and two. That's right. What on earth was I doing wrong first? Okay, well, I mean, five minutes, 47. That might get me the two hats. I don't deserve it because I would have handed that puzzle in at a competition with the wrong solution. I did only make the error in the last 12 or 13 digits, as we just saw on the unwind there. But I was very lucky that I'm very lucky to be solving in software that you can just wind back and find where you went wrong or find a place to, you know, all I did then was trial and error on the restart. So the time for that puzzle was seven and a half minutes. So again, I'm inside it. And I mean, I kind of get the two hats, but morally, that's a defeat. And Clover becomes my moral nemesis. Now, I'm going to just plow on anyway. Let's have a look at this Sandwich Sudoku by Bill. And then, and then I will finish this set that has rather duffed me up, even though I'm getting... I'm still potentially on for all 15 hats, which is ridiculous. I mean, I'm counting that I get them for predicting the puzzles, which, again, doesn't seem right. Now, 1, 2, 9 must occur in some order here. That can't be a 9. So, we go 2, 9 upwards here. There we go. And that fixes 9 here. So the two, these small clues can be very helpful. Nine, three, one, can't go that way, so it goes this way. Yeah, that's good. Then we can do eight and two in the central row. Now use the clues, one, five, nine. No, let's use this four clue. That's more helpful, because four can only be one combination. Um, now, seven in this column. Is it the one has to be here specifically? Okay, so that's good. I can stick the seven in. 28 in this column, the outies add up to seven. So nine is in one of those two cells. No, one of those two cells. Oh, but there's a two in row eight. That's going to tell me where the nine is. The outies add up to seven. Okay, the one in this column is going to have to be there with an outie of six. Now, we can't use two and three, so we're going to have to use a single five as the sandwich in column eight. We've done columns seven, eight, nine, columns one, two, three. We've basically done the sandwiches in those. Still got column five to go. Top row. Ah, oh, it can't be a single six because of that. So it's a two, four pair. We've done that. This one needs them to add up to nine. That's going to have to be two cells since I can't use the two. So we'll come back to that one. In this row, can't be three cells because I can't use the three. So it's two again. And that's going to place my last nine in the grid. I can probably do the remaining ones. Oh, I haven't done this row. One goes there. Now, this is not two, seven, or six, three. It must be four, five. Eight, seven. We've got another three in the corner. They have been abundant in this set of puzzles. Um, absolute plethora of threes in the corner. Four, nine, seven, one, two. Okay, we've used all the clues except this central column. Right, these two add up to ten, and they're not six, four. Uh, ah, and that's a 2, so they're not 2, 8, they're 3, 7. That's a single 1, this is a 2, 8 pair. 6 and 8 in the central column, still to place. 
Okay, this is mainly classic Sudoku now. I don't... Oh, no, there's still some 10s, aren't there? That's a 2-8 pair now. And there was a 9 up here, which can't be 2-7. It's either 3-6 or 5-4. Can't be 3-6, so it is 5-4. Okay, that's probably all of the clues. Now, let's just solve the Sudoku out of this. 7 and 6. That's an 8. That's a 2. 3, 6, 8 along, oops, not along there, along here, 4, 5, 7, that's a 4, we've got a 5 in the top corner, 3 and 6 in the top row, that's how to do them, 6 and 8 in row 3, 2 and 5, that's a 6, we get 8 and 2, ah, oh, the 3, 7 pair are done as well, that's got to be 4, so 3, Three and six and eight, two and three and five and seven, three there. This is six, eight, three, one set to go, six, seven, eight, we go eight, six, seven. And there we are, four and four minutes, 26 seconds. And the two hat time was eight and a half minutes. I, I have a lot of familiarity with sandwich Sudoku, thanks to and created most of the puzzles for our app, I think. Probably the majority, just about. Anyway, that is fantastic. Thank you very much, Bill. Um, that's slightly restored my confidence after puzzles three and four, where the errors dented it a bit. Although, again, as I say, I think I got through with two hats in every puzzle and the, the bonus hats from when I eventually cracked the code. But... You won't see me parading outside wearing all 15 hats at once because this felt like a bit of a sneaky hat steal today. Anyway, that's gas and we will be back with more gas in about five days time and with more general Sudoku tomorrow. Thanks for watching and bye for now.